So to start off on our corn cakes, we're gonna actually roast over an open flame some poblano peppers. And you just wanna char that skin. And what that's going to do is actually create a beautiful smoky flavor. It's actually gonna cook the pepper a little bit. So we're gonna put this into a Ziploc bag. After it's browned on all sides, make sure you're turning it. Put in a Ziploc bag and we we'll let the air and the steam just kind of allow it to remove that skin and peel it. So now we're gonna work on corn cakes. So I've got some corn flour, not to be confused with corn starch. Cool. Add that right in. To that, we're going to add some baking powder. You can find the measurements in the comment box. We're gonna add some salt and some chili powder. And you know what's great about this is that you can add as much chili powder, as little as you want. You can do chipotle powder, you can do ancho chili powder. So just get all your dry mixed in together. And now we're gonna crack some eggs in a separate bowl. You know, I really love cornbread. I grew up with cornbread. My father is from the South, and I grew up with, with a lot of different cornbread in my house. And as I got older, I started to add different flavors to the cornbread, because really the cornbread is sort of like a base for anything you want. This particular corn cake, it's almost like an arepas. You know, you can kind of make it a corn arepas right on the stove. I'm gonna add some buttermilk, and you can put whatever you want on top of that arepa. So it's the same concept here. So we're just gonna mix this in just a little bit with our whisk, just to break those yolks down. I like to crack my eggs into a separate bowl just to make sure that I don't get any shells into my batter. Give that a whisk. And now what we're gonna do is add this right in. Just give it a whisk. Add a little bit of honey my honey bear, give him a squeeze. It's about two tablespoons. And some clarified butter. So the way I made my clarified butter is by actually allowing the butter to melt in a saucepan and allowing the milk solids to just rise to the top so it becomes all foamy and those white milk solids sit on the top of our butter and then with a slotted spoon, we remove them. And then you're left with clarified butter. So this looks really, really good. Now what we're gonna do is add some pimento cheese. I've got a couple ounces of pimento in there. I'm just gonna stir that right in. It's gonna give this a nice cheesy flavor. And we're gonna set that on the side and begin to peel our poblanos. I've got a bowl of water over here, just some cold water. I'm gonna land my poblanos right into that cold water and just gently rub the charred skin right off. So this is gonna break down in the water, so try not to rub it too aggressively, but you just wanna remove that skin. So that looks great. I'm gonna lay it on paper towel just to dry it off a little bit. Now it's okay if you still have a little bit of skin, some charred skin on there, because that's just gonna add a lovely flavor and some more character to our peppers. So you don't have to get crazy about getting all the black off of it. Just for the most part, I'm gonna make sure it's off. So I'm just gonna roughly chop these beautifully roasted peppers and stir them in to our corn cake batter. Mm. It's looking delicious already. Yes! So I'm gonna get my cast iron pan on medium heat, medium high heat. I'm gonna use some clarified butter. Now clarified butter also has a higher smoking point, so it's better to use than traditional butter, plus it's got way more flavor. So I'm gonna do about a quarter of a cup of batter. You can make these as big or as small as you want. So we're gonna flip these once it's brown on the bottom and it's bubbled around the edges. So these are ready to give a flip. Cakes look really good, they're just about done. So I'm gonna stack them up. Beautiful. That looks amazing. We're gonna garnish it with some sour cream. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of our chili powder. I'm gonna drizzle on a little bit of that butter. Look at that. That is sexy. Yeah, baby. And some of our delicious honey. Yeah, get that money shot. We're gonna do some chopped cilantro. You know what's cool about eating good looking food is that you automatically believe it tastes good. And I automatically believe this tastes good because it looks good. There you have it. My corn cakes, done. These are bomb. Gotta give them a try. They look dope. Let's go for it. Ooh, I love that crunch on that corn cake. Now, if I was being a greedy person, I would eat that whole stack like that. But I'm not. I'm just gonna cut me off a little bit. Drag that in some honey. Some sour cream. Oh yeah. Mmm. You know what I love about it? I really can taste the texture of that corn. And I love the sweetness of the honey. The sour cream kind of balances out a little bit of the poblano peppers. I'm getting that texture and that lovely cheese that's just kind of melted all throughout those corn cakes. This is really good. If you want to put some charred corn in there, you can totally do that. Just take some corn, throw it on the grill, slice it up, add it right inside of your batter. This is so fun and so friendly. You gotta check it out. I'm Son of a Southern Chef, and I'll see you next time.